Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We go to the ECM WF extended forecast for the UK and Ireland. Uh, for this fourth video, and we're looking at the weather for the uh, next six weeks in terms of mean sea level pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature, and precipitation anomalies. And this will get us um, quite a way into January 2023, 20, uh, actually. So I shall get on that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that the first video released today was our 6 a.m. upload. And we'll sort of Jeremy Friday, the 10th of 14, day at 2. We're going to be live streaming in a couple of our time after 10 o'clock. We're going to have our Friday night live stream. Um, where we will be live streaming the uh, GFS 18 set, uh, aka the pub run. And so I shall see you live for that maybe a little bit later on this evening. Epic day of content today. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you so much to ECMW.int for supplying the charts. By the way, thank you so much, EC. Uh, right, okay. Hold on, everybody. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm getting myself ready for my live stream tonight because it won't be Gav live stream <laughs> without a cough. Right, this starts off with the week one. Mean sea level pressure anomaly then. This will take us from the 28th of November to 5th of December. Next week, basically. And uh, we see a large area of high pressure in control over Scandinavia. Going back into western parts of Russia. And uh, that's bringing easterly winds across much of northern Europe there. With that area of high pressure. Goodness gracious me. Been a long time since we've had a Scandi like that. Um, the uh, 500 millibar high tonality from the Arctic and the North Pole view down, showing a large area of above average heights dominating thrust Europe. It does extend back to its core into Scandinavia and also northwestern parts of Russia. The temperature anomalies are actually milder than average for the UK and for Ireland, but note much of northern, eastern and northeast Europe is getting colder with those easterly winds. However, it takes a while to get that cold air into West Europe, so we have a milder, milder than average week next week for the UK and for Ireland, and it is a dry week as well with uh, drier than average precipitation anomalies. Right, that's that one done, <laughs> everyone. Let's have a look. Week two, which will be the 5th to the 12th of December. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> High pressure blocking in the North Atlantic. It's sending two Scandinavians. So, like, got a Scandinavian high. It looks like it's wrecked. <laughs> Uh, a little bit in that direction. Could that be pulling that colder air into West of Europe? Could it, could it, could it? We'll find out in a mo. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that with <laughs> above average heights generally across northern parts of the Atlantic and into northern Europe. You will think winds could be coming in from uh, the east. So let's have a look at temperature anomaly. Uh, right, ooh, ooh, <laughs> going below average, wow, 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 through Ireland, through England, Wales, and through France, much of northern Europe, going below average as well, cold easterly winds, goodness gracious me, dum, 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 I don't know, dum, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> the precipitation anomaly is still drier than uh, normal. But remember, if we bring in those east winds, we might get some snow showers and whatnot. Coming in up the North Sea. Could be, could be, could be. Could be, could be, could be. I don't know. It's exciting, isn't it? Right, let's have a look week three. <laughs> it's going to be the 12th to the 19th of December. What's good? Oh, oh well, now we've still got Scandi, though, look. So Scandinavian High still maintain. Uh, lower pressure to our southwest. Now, that's a kind of thing that might deliver some snow. If that low pressure uh, comes up in that direction and uh, meets those cold easterly winds, we're going to get a clash. And uh, we love a clash. <laughs> uh, Gaz weather. So could that be snow there as we go to the middle part 
of uh, December. What's the five inch of Mirabar height scene? Well, we've basically got, we've got blocking. We've, we've got blocking to our north, getting too excited to our north and northeast with low pressure to our south and southwest. And so, yes, you could envisage that there might be a battle going on. Temperature anomalies look like that. So it's not as cold, but um, still think it'd be a bit on the cool side, I think, there across uh, northern Europe anyway. To our north, it's milder than uh, average. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So notice the precipitation is gathering to our south and southwest. We're still on the uh, drier side. I don't know about that. I reckon that might hint at some snow there for the middle part of December. Now, week four is going to take us from the 19th to the 26th of December. So, uh, through the Christmas period. Here we go. And uh, we find that this week has high pressure still around Scandinavia. It's retreating a little bit further north. It's low pressure is to ourselves. It's certainly not a traditional zonal setup, that, is it? And you could still be maintaining like an easterly flow there i would not be surprised and as that uh you know as that low pressure comes up from the south again could it deliver some snow running up towards christmas dum 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 how interesting what an update from xc <laughs> uh right 500 millibar height anomalies with blocking to the north and a trough of low to the south. That definitely ain't like easterly winds, potentially, doesn't it? Uh, how very, very interesting. Ooh. Um, <laughs> for some potential anomalies, I should say. Calm down, Gav. Calm down. Do the day job. Mild average to ourselves and also to the north. I reckon there could be a swathe here, but still rather on the cold side, though. Um, and remember, ouch. Uh, <laughs> Remember, though, uh, that is like going up to and into Christmas. Ooh, uh, right, week five will be the 26th of December, Boxing Day to 2nd of January 2023. Here we go through the new year. And we look like that. So low pressure now is developing in the Atlantic as high pressure is retreating back to western Russia. That looks like we're going to return of the westerlies could that be going milder into the new year what about the 500 millibar heights definitely looking more westerly low pressure in the atlantic high tr high pressure in so scandinavia and northeastern parts of europe but i reckon this low is probably the, the driving factor as we're moving into the new year i think the temperature not only will lift up let's have a look there we go. Not uh, dramatically so, but going ever so slightly milder there as we move towards the new year. And the precipitation anomaly looks like this. So uh, wet just out to our west, otherwise not much of a signal. And then finally, week six will be the 2nd to the 9th of January 2023. Here we go. One, two, three. And uh, we've got high pressure here sitting to our east and northeast as well. Low pressure. Looks like it's retreating back towards Greenland. Eyes. We've got this high pressure be starting to have a go at taking it over again. This will be mild through this week. Winds will be coming up from the south. Um, but could that high pressure be fighting back? And, and maybe, you know, maybe trying to return the wind back into the east again. The 500 millibar. Height anomaly shows that the low pressure is weakening a little bit around Greenland. A wall of high pressure building over to the east of the country. Is that starting to get itself set up for another uh, easterly, maybe? Temperature anomaly is going milder than normal at this point. So, um, yeah, you know, we're back into subly winds and that. But could that bring a bit of warm air affection and whatnot? And the precipitation anomaly 
uh, looks like this. Weak signals, but does look dry. We've got that area of high pressure. Um, but I don't think we should look any further than December. December looking really interesting here. I have to say, up to Christmas, it looks like it's game on. <laughs> Maybe. For a little bit of wintry weather. Ooh, the plot thickens. <laughs> the plot's thickening and gas losing the plot. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you so much to ECM, INT for supplying the charts. We'll do it all over again next week. That'll probably be on Saturday next week, I would have thought. Uh, and uh, we'll have a look there. Of course, we will do the wider European outlook with this EC external model um, on Tuesday too. We're going to be back live streaming in a couple of hours. So if you want to see a little bit of giddy, well, I'm a bit, a bit giddy on this one, but if you want to see a little bit of giddy gap, uh, doing the uh, live stream with BGFS 18 cent, aka the pub run, then uh, check that out. It'll be around half 10, we'll be starting and running through to about 20 past 11, something like that. If you can, like, share, subscribe on videos, and we'll see you a little bit later on for live stream, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.